On today's episode of Tasha Sewing Tutorials, we will be making Dun Dun Dun! Okay, everyone, this is the actual high low skirt. This is a circle skirt that I made for beauty. This is what it would look like normally. This is the waist. And this is the um, difference between the high and the low. And I norm hemmed it with a facing. And normally I would not do that on a high low skirt. I would actually use the facing to hem for a um, regular circle skirt, but I did it like this because number one, this is a wearable muslin, so it's really a practice garment, and I decided to go ahead and do this to show you guys the difference because you have the white background from the wrong side of the fabric, and then you have the right side of the fabric right here. Okay, I'm going to use the actual circle that I cut out of the middle to make the uh, waist to do the demonstration. This is the circle. You know how normally we make a circle skirt. We will fold the fabric this way and fold it that way and then we cut out the circle and then we cut out the waist and you open it up and you have a circle skirt. Okay so now I'm going to show you what we're going to do to make the facing to hem this circle skirt. This is the, uh, let me zoom in some, one moment. This is the scrap fabric we're going to be using that is left over from the project. And this is the circle. So what we're going to do is fold it into a quarter. That's a half. That's a quarter. Make sure that it's evenly folded. When you do this, that's very important and you're going to fold it again. Now you have a quarter. And the first thing we're going to do, turn it that way and zoom in some more so you guys can see what's going on here. One moment. Okay. Now, this is the hem of the skirt. This would be this would be the waist and that would be the hem. The reason what we're going to do is create a facing to sew onto the skirt. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your your um chalk or your soap or whatever you're using to mark. I'm using a pencil because this is demonstration purposes only and beauty has said that because I'm making all these tiny clothes I need to get her some Barbies. She doesn't have any. Never wanted any before until she saw me cut a hole in this circle for this demonstration. Well, anywho, you're going to trace around the edge and then you're going to come up two inches on the side. We're going to pretend like this is two inches that I'm coming up. When you do this in real life, make sure that's two inches and you take it off and you have something actually you can't see that let me let me pause and go get a marker to make that darker so you can see it one moment okay I'm back I traced around it with a sharpie so you guys can see what I'm doing but you know when you do this at home you're gonna use a I use a piece of white soap sometimes because it's soap it marks and it's washable and also sometimes I use a tailor's chalk or a quilter's pen. Well, what we're gonna do next is we're going to measure, we're gonna pretend like this is two inches and this is two inches and we're gonna mark two inches all the way around here. So you get your handy dandy hem, your handy dandy um, measuring instrument and then you just mark along Make sure that it is um, two inches all the way around. And we're doing this with the two inches because what we're going to do is we're going to mimic the curve of the actual 
actual um, circle skirt so we can make a proper facing. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. And we're going to do, once we make this one, we're going to um, make four copies. So what we're doing right now is we're making the first facing and we're also making the pattern at the same time. Okay, so there we have that. You're going to add your seam allowance to the side. You can use a 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance or half an inch seam allowance is whatever you want to do. And we're going to mark the seam allowance right here. And we're going to make sure that the seam allowance curves the same amount as the uh, rest of the garment does. And you're going to mark the seam allowance on the other side as well. And then when you do this, you're going to have a seam allowance on this side, a seam allowance on this side. Let me mark that right now, actually. I'm using a half inch seam allowance. Actually, when you sew, the rule of thumb is a 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance, but um, I prefer to do a 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance and um, I'm sorry I prefer to do a half inch seam allowance so that's what I do you don't have to do that you can go with what is recommended which is a 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance or you can do like that now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this out and I'm going to cut it out four times. So this would be one. Then I'm going to make four more by just putting this on top and tracing around it and making four more. So let me cut that out and then I'll come back to you in a minute. One moment. Okay, I just cut it out from right here. And all I'm going to do is place the piece that I just cut out right above it and I'm going to trace around it and I'm going to cut this out as well and when I'm done doing this when I'm finished doing this rather I should have four pieces for the facing so because the circle divided into quarters is four quarters to make a hole so I'm going to need four of these facings to make the whole for the circle, the entire um, amount that I need to make the facing for the circle skirt. And I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to do it two more times so I can have four pieces and then I'll come back and show you guys what to do next. Okay, now I have one, two, three, four facings cut out. Now the, what we're going to do next is basically just make sure that the uh, curves match up like this. Hold on. Let me move those out the way. You have one here. And then you're going to put right sides together. Make sure the curves match up. And then we're going to sew the ends together here until we make a um, complete circle. It's going to be like a donut with a huge hole in it, and it's going to go around. Let me turn this over like this so you can see what I'm doing. It's going to eventually go together like this. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and sew this together. Let me get my sewing machine over here. I'm going to sew this together and um, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back and I finished sewing this um, facing together. This is what it looks like. There's the wrong side and there's the right side. 
And what we're actually going to do is you have two choices. You can either A, go ahead and you're going to put these together with the right sides together and sew all the way around now and turn this hem under like this. Let me zoom in some. Oh, roll away. And um, turn this hem under like this. When you um, flip it over to the other side and sew, or you can hem this ahead of time. What I like to do is I like to iron it down and I like to hem this ahead of time. And the reason why, let me zoom back out. We're doing it like that is because it's easier to fold the inside of the circle in to hem it than it is to fold the outside of the circle forward because it's smaller on the inside than it is on the outside and the, cur the curve can conform to itself. Whereas this way, the outer curve cannot conform to itself. It'll be too big. And that is the reason why we have an issue with the hem in the circle skirt to begin with. So what I'm going to do actually now is I'm going to go ahead and iron this down to a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to, well, actually iron it down for an eighth of an inch. And then I'm going to turn it again, iron it another eighth of an inch. And then I'm going to do a narrow hem on this and then I'll be back and show you what to do next you don't have to do the narrow hem on this first if you don't want to but that's just what I like to do and I'm going to do that and then I'll come back and show you the next step one moment okay I'm back I've already ironed open the seam allowances right here and now what I'm going to do is iron down an eighth of an inch. If this was um, a full size circle skirt, I would iron this hem, this edge down a quarter of an inch. But I'm doing an eighth of an inch because this is a small version. And as you can see, it's a lot easier to make that hem meet from the inside to the um, skirt than it is well to the facing than it would be if I were to try to make this meet if I were to try to make it meet this way that would be um, a hard way to do this it's not exactly a hard way to do it but if you're going to do it that way you would have to I would recommend to sew it by hand but if you're wanting to use a machine this is another option and I actually did a circle skirt hemming video previously that I will put in my um, description box where I I will link it in the description box and the previous circle skirt video was of me using a satin ribbon to him the uh, circle skirt instead. So now that we have, uh oh, I ironed over that on accident. Now that we have the, um, I keep ironing over it on accident after I get it done. Okay, let's see if I can get it right this time. There we go. Now after we have this all ironed down, you have two options. Option number one would be to sew this down. You don't have to. You can if you want to. Sew it down to keep it in place. And then after, and I like to sew it down. You don't have to. That is a t step you can actually omit. But I prefer to sew this down to keep it in place. And then after we do that, the next step is to take the circle skirt and to sew the hemming, I'm sorry, the facing with right sides together. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sew this down. Sew the circle skirt with the facing onto the circle skirt with the right sides together. And then I'll come back and show you what we're doing next. One moment. Uh oh. I okay, now I have um, sewed around the perimeter of the facing and the circle skirt. And one thing I need to mention is to make sure that your facing fits your circle skirt 100% because mine did not exactly fit properly. It was a centimeter too big, so I had to fold it right here. Can you guys see that to make it fit? That's what that um, fold thing is. But it's okay. And after I, I sewed around the perimeter, I trimmed down the edge to an eighth of an inch. And now all we have to do is turn the facing over to the wrong side, iron it down, and our hem is just about complete. So that's what I'm going to do now. I turned it over to the other side and I'm going to iron it down. Make sure you iron it as close to the edge where you sewed it at as possible so we can make that look um, really nice and really cleaned up. We don't want our clothes to look like we just threw them together any old kind of way. We want them to look professionally done and ironing when you sew can make the difference between your garment looking like an arts and craft project and looking professionally couture, looking professional couture, high quality, expensive, handmade outfit. So that is why we're going to iron as close to the edge as possible to make that hem as flat as possible and as cleaned up as possible. Now this circle skirt that I'm doing right now, this tiny one here, it's kind of um, the edge is not exactly round like it should be and the reason why is because when you make a circle skirt and you cut it out you should let it hang hang out in the closet for like a week because the nature of the circle skirt is is automatically on a bias because it's round there's no way of getting around that and sometimes when you work with fabric on a bias like the circle skirt it becomes out of shape so that is why the experts recommend you letting your circle skirt hang out in the closet on a hanger for about a week or two weeks depending on your fabric before you hem it now a quick way to bring that because what you're going to do is you're doing that so when the um, bias falls down and it's uneven you're going to go ahead and trim it up to make it even and then you hem your circle skirt I didn't do that I actually cut this out last week but I didn't hang it up to um, let it correct itself on the bias because you know it's just for a doll and for demonstration purposes only. And there you go. Now all I have to do now is I'm going to top stitch around the edge as close to the edge as possible so we can keep this nice and crisp. And then I'm going to top stitch around the inside as well to keep the hem together. And then when you turn it over you're going to have a perfectly hemmed per circle skirt. Let me go ahead and do that and I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, now my circle skirt is completely hemmed. As you can see, this is the wrong side. This is the right side. And I'm going to put my little fingers actually no, my scissors won't fit. I'm going to put my fingers in there. And now you can see 
that we have a fully hemmed circle skirt for a Barbie. There you go. There is the facing. And I would use this on, if I was going to use this, this here um, finish, I would use it on a circle skirt that's a regular circle skirt or I would not do it on a high-low even though the dress that you're gonna see beauty model with this hem in it is a high-low skirt I would not do that in real life um, if I was making that for her to wear to school or out places or whatever I would make it um, I would not do this hem I would have done a full facing and the next video that I'm going to make for this will show you how to make a full facing. The full facing is by far the easiest way to hem the circle skirt, but it actually takes more fabric. So I'm going to show you that on the next video, but here's this one, fully fully hemmed and it's fully faced and if it was just a regular circle skirt, you would not be able to see that hem at all. And um yeah, you can't see my decorative stitching on there either that I decided to use to hem this. But there you have it. So stay tuned for the video of Beauty wearing the high-low skirt that I made using this facing. Once again, I do not recommend doing that on a high-low skirt. The only exception for a high-low skirt that I would use this facing would be if the fabric was the same on both sides. So on the right side and the wrong side, the fabric was the same. You absolutely could not tell the difference. Then I would do the facing on the high-low skirt. But if not, if there, if it's not, if you can't, if you can tell the wrong side from the right side, like you can on this one, and like you can on the skirt that I made for Beauty, um, that you're going to see her model, which was kind of like a muslin for the next skirt that I actually made that you're gonna see a video on I will do the full facing okay well that's it I'll see you guys next time goodbye and as usual happy sewing okay this is beauty in the skirt that I was making um, today for the uh, tutorial actually this is a skirt that I made that I got the circle out of to do the tutorial. I'm going to zoom in into the skirt one moment. Okay, beauty. Turn to the side. Oh, let me zoom out a little bit so y'all can see it. And turn to the front again. And to the back. And turn back to the front. And you can see a little bit at the bottom there where you can see where I did the um, facing for the skirt and Beauty wants to turn around a lot so let's let her. Okay Beauty, do your thing. <laughs> You're out of the, get back in the over here so we can see you. Alright guys, that's it. Beauty came home from school and modeled for us and that's why she has on a blue shirt because her school uniform is a blue shirt. And as usual, Beauty, say it with me. Look at the camera and say it with me. Happy, Happy sewing. Bye.